Here's a shocking statistic for you that I bet you've never thought about before. There are 7.5 billion people alive today on planet Earth, with just 600 million of those people saying that they are born again believers. Now suppose those numbers are correct. That means that 8% of the world's population are going to heaven. But let's reverse that. That means 92% of them are going to hell. What's, What's up, up you walkers? walkers? <laughs> Today, the topic is once saved, always saved. And the reason we're talking about this is because lately we've been hearing a lot of people and they say, well, you know, um, once I'm saved, that's it. I can just do whatever and my salvation is still. Yeah. So we're going to look through the word and see what, what the Bible has to say about it. And the scripture they use is um, Ephesians 2, 8 through 9. It says, for by grace you have been saved through faith and, uh, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works. Yes, uh, lest anyone should boast. So they say like, oh, well, you know, we're not saved through works. That's that's the Old Testament. We saved just through just through faith. Yeah. And you know, once you save, always save. So what do y'all think about that? Faith without works is dead, dead, isn't it? Yeah. That's like you got a bird with one wing and mm. it's trying to fly, but all it does is going in a circle. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So faith without works is dead. Mm -hmm. And even people who believe that through other people they were saved. The fact yeah. that my mm -hmm. family their works saved. can be yeah. saved. Yeah. yeah. Like you automatically say because I gave my life to the Lord, so you automatically go into heaven. Exactly. And that's a lie from the pits of hell. Yes. Yeah. We hear this all the time. God doesn't have grandchildren. He only mm. has children, children mm. sons and daughters. Wow. Of God. So everybody has to make their own decisions. Yes. Yeesh. Man. And then in the Bible, look, it says it's on James chapter four verse seventeen. It says, "Therefore, to him who knows to do good and does and does not do it." To him in his sin. And then we, we got another scripture, Isaiah 59.2, uh, 59 verse 2, it says, But your iniquities have separated you from God, and your sins have hidden his face from you, so that he will not hear. So this is telling you if you know something wrong and you do it, that's sin. Yeah. And the other one is saying that sin separates you from God. Yeah. So if you separate it from God, then where are you going to be at? And I honestly experienced that, like the mm. sin separating yourself from God, where you hide yourself from him and where he can't even hear you anymore because yeah. and you can't hear him like you really mess yourself up <clears throat> because one season of my life it was specifically in college I was just trying everything and doing everything because in high school I just felt like I was just sheltered being completely honest like it was a blessing but I felt like during I'm that covered time, I can do it yeah, I was like my mom be going in <laughs> so yep. I'm okay and my dad be like praying over me all the time so I should be okay and so in college, like I literally heard God say, and I shared that with you, the, the vision that God gave me. He gave mm -hmm. me a vision of a closet, and inside of the closet was a whole bunch of different masks. Yeah. And God revealed to me that that closet was my heart, and I was constantly putting on all these masks. Wow. And God said, if I keep on operating with that, he's going to harden my heart. Mm -hmm. And that's what scared me, because I already had trouble hearing the Holy Spirit. Yeah. so much so that I was thankful the prayers that you sowed in my life and the scriptures that you put in my life because when I couldn't hear the Holy Spirit I heard your prayers in wow. my head I heard that wisdom yeah. that you instilled in my spirit wow. and that's why it even says train up a child the way that they should go and they, they won't depart they won't from depart, you yeah. because wow. in those moments where a, a child is trying out all these things they don't know good from bad they just know what they were taught or what they were told yeah. um that doesn't encourage somebody to walk out your journey if you know what's wrong don't go down that path but yeah. if you're ignorantly walking out that moment like that knowledge those word of wisdom you might not like when your parents are telling you that you might not like when pastors are like speaking into your life but later when you get to that point if you were in the position where i was where you kept on testing god and you're like oh the grace covers me all yeah. the time yeah that grace is for the people who are truly ignorant like yeah. when a child genuinely doesn't know and they make that mistake it's like it's okay they're too young to notice right when you're a baby in christ that's what the grace is for and then mercy is holding back what you deserve anyways and a lot of people oh. misunderstand that. man that's a word <laughs>
So don't be like me, y'all, because God will get very frustrated with you at some point in time. And I don't want you to be like me where he got to tempt you to be like, look, I will make your heart hard because you don't want to feel like that. I literally felt like I could not hear the Holy Spirit. I would go into church and I would just pretend like I was worshiping. I would pretend like I was there and I really wasn't. I could walk out of church feeling exactly the same. Yeah. And that stops you even from getting your healing. Yes. yes. And I love what you say, train up a child the way that you go. Because when I gave my life to the Lord, yeah. you know, nobody was saved in my family. So I was like the first one. Mm. And so growing up in the Lord, I was like that child. You know, I had some knowledge, yeah. but I strayed for a minute and I did something that I knew that wasn't right. Mm -hmm. And immediately, you know, I could feel like there was this disconnect with God. Yeah. I would pray and it was like those prayers just go hit oh, the ceiling and come yeah, right yeah. back. Yeah. But it was the love of God that still covered me and drew me back into relationship with him yeah. so I was a child wow. yeah. you know but I was growing up in him and he drew me back to himself Man. you know what I mean so <laughs> and even that like you just sparked something in me because <clears throat> that even that scripture train of a child the way they should go so they will not depart from me it's really a warning yeah. because when you depart from somebody mm -hmm. you're departing from anything that's good anything that's got you anything that's protecting you and if you think about it when you're a kid and your mom tells you oh wear a raincoat or oh make sure you mm -hmm. take an umbrella yeah. it's gonna rain it's for your protection so if you choose not to take that raincoat or that umbrella you can't be mad at anybody else but yourself and the covering represents god that umbrella represents yes. god God is always staying in the same place. God is always here. God is always drawing you. Yeah. Right. God is always trying to protect you, but you yeah. can walk outside of yes. the covering of God. And yes. that's when yes. you feel yes. like God is taking Man. his hands and off. And look, you. that, and when you said earlier, you were talking about how, like, you, whenever you would, I guess, stray away, then you just feel like this feeling like separation. Yeah, separation. So, Proverbs 14 14, it says, The backslider in heart will be filled with his own ways. Mm -hmm but a good man will be satisfied from above. Mm -hmm. So that just shows like everything you just said, yeah. you know? Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. And that's the thing, the Word of God is like that mirror. You yeah. know, yeah. we don't read the Word of God. If we just think, oh, I gave my life to the Lord, you know, I'm good, yeah. I'm saved, forever saved. Mm -hmm. But you don't have the knowledge of your Word. How can you possibly know what's right and what's wrong? Right. You know, so you go after your own conscience, after what you think is the right thing to man. do. And that's because of a lack of knowledge my people, people perish because they rejected lives. the knowledge they didn't want wow. the knowledge they didn't want to get the word in it to even understand how do i walk this thing out you know mm -hmm. how am i really gonna do it you know yeah. so we can't walk by our own feelings so yeah, what we exactly. think we gotta exactly. line up with the word line up with the word and and you just reminded me so look what does the bible say about the the last days second timothy four through three it says for the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine mm. so what sound doctrine that's the word of god the truth, you know yes. it says but according to their own desires because they have itching ears mm. they will heap up for themselves teachers and they will turn their ears away from mm. the truth and be turned aside to fables My god. so that once saved always saved that's just an itching ear so you can be justified with sin yes that, yeah. that's all it is about it, yes. that we're literally living in the last days because so many people have this this mentality of like, oh, I'm walking out my truth, but there's only one truth, and that's yeah, the truth, that's which word. is the word of God. Mm -hmm. Just Jesus. So Christ. that already goes yeah. to show that you're walking by itching ears because you're like, oh, I'm gonna live out my truth, whatever yeah. that truth is. Yeah. It's definitely yeah. not God's truth. It's either one or the other. Yeah. Wow. And even wanting to satisfy your five senses, you yeah. know, that soulish realm. We're yeah. so used to, ooh, that makes me feel good. Ooh, that sounds good. Yeah. You know, we want we want to satisfy that soulish realm. But when you saved is, yeah. you follow the spirit. You are led by the right. spirit. And yeah. so, how can you lay it by the spirit? You know, what the Bible even talks about the faith. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence mm. of things not seen. The substance is the word of God. Right. You know, so. Faith without the works word or works is yeah. dead. If we are not doers of mm -hmm. that word, that's the works, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. You know? And even the heart, that scripture that talks about the heart being deceitful above all else, right? Oh, Jesus. Man. Because we talk about the five senses and we're like, oh, just follow your heart. Oh, just follow your heart. No, the word of yeah, God the word. literally tells you the opposite. The, opposite. the 
the heart is deceitful above Man. all else. So like, why are you trusting your emotions, which is temporary? And a lot of times, like I hear people say, like, oh, God gave you emotions, so like if you follow your emotions, you can't be led wrong. Um, first of all, your emotions are, I feel like in the right terms when you're operating the spirit those emotions connect you to god's heart and it shows you what other people feel like and so you can have empathy towards those people right. however when you're driven by nothing else but your emotions and you're driven by your heart your heart is fallible above all things right so you're just endlessly putting yourself in a bad position anyways yeah you are and the thing is like the whole once saved always saved it doesn't speak about repentance yeah. anywhere yeah nowhere does it speak about repentance yeah. so it's like that's that's not good at yeah. all and that's a that's a deception and, and i've heard a lot of leaders teaching that even yeah. you yeah. know where people just live the life of the world mm -hmm. but saying oh grace covers me yeah. right grace does cover us but you have to be careful you know if you call yourself a son or a daughter of god and you're not really connected with the word right you know you slowly but surely you know, falling away from, from grace. Yeah. And, and then, I want you to stick on that too. Let's go back to that and break down really what those three things mean because a lot of people misconstrue grace and mercy and they don't know what that is. And I wrote that down, but go ahead, baby. Okay, no, I was just gonna say, um, I was gonna read this, right? Cause, all right, so it's Revelations 2, 1 through 5. It says, to the angel of the church of Ephesus, right? These things say he who holds the seven stars in his right hand, who walks in the midst of the seven golden lampstands. I know your works, your labors, your patience, and, uh, and that you cannot bear those who are evil. And you have t and I have tested those who say they are apostles and are not, and have found them liars. And you, you have preserved and have patience and have labor for my name's sake, and have become and have not become weary. Nevertheless, I have this against you that you have left your first love, okay? So that right there, that's so important. You have left your first love. Yeah. Remember therefore from where you have fallen, repent and do the first works or else I will come to you quickly and remove your lampstand from its place unless you repent. Mm -hmm. So that is, is speaking about repentance and leaving your first love. That's the sound doctrine, the true word of God. You, leave, you left your first word and you start going on itching ears and what sounds good. And he, you know, what he says he's gonna remove your limbs then. Yeah, yeah. And you know, talking about you've done all of this. You know how it says in the beginning that doing all of these works. You know, here it says, I know your works, your labor, your yeah. patience. I mean, they had done some great things. Yeah. But what is all of that without? the love of God without having that relationship that with God. Right. Relationship. Yeah, how the, how the Bible, even, I don't know where that scripture is, I believe it's in Matthew. I could be wrong on that, but we will post it underneath probably. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but where it talks about, you know, where Jesus said, um, what does disciples say, whoever was before the Lord, we did all of these works, you know, we did cast out devils. Yeah. Did we not do this and this and this yeah. in your name? But Man, he said, depart from me because you don't, you yeah. know, we didn't, we didn't have a relationship. I never knew you. We didn't know each other. And that's what God is after is that love relationship with right. him. And from that flow the works, from that flows yeah. the labor, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Man. And that even goes to like, cause a lot of people they're in relationships or they enjoy being around people for the things that it comes with. Mm -hmm. But the beautiful thing is when we're in relationship and communion with God, we get things that we don't deserve. Mm -hmm. When in other relationships, we get what we worked for or we yeah. get what we put in. And that's why I wanted to go back to grace and mercy because mm -hmm. so many people misconstrue grace and mercy. And so mercy definitely means holding back what you do deserve. So when God died on the cross for us, he took on the sins of the world. So you can't even begin to fix your lips to say he doesn't understand what you're going through. He doesn't understand uh, your circumstances yeah. because God took on the sins of the world. Even the stuff that you don't go through, he took for you to make sure that yeah, you were okay yeah. when you weren't deserving of it. And then when it comes to grace, grace is broken down as the freely given. So you don't have to do anything to receive this, but it's freely given. It's unmerited favor and it's the love of God. And it's the influence or the spirit of God operating in us to generate strength in us. And it's a virtue of excellence. It's a virtue of, of divine origin. And it's, it's the grace of God. And it's conditioning us 
to be a part of God's favor because we are the elect. We are King's mm-hmm. kids. We are wow. just mm-hmm. just the fruit. Like we we are God. We are Him. We are with Him. We are not. We are not God. Let me fix that. We are not God, but we are created in His image, and we are a priesthood. We're a royal right. priesthood. Yes. We become a new creation. Pick up your cross daily. That's all that it has to come into. Yeah. But when you are going in this situation of like once saved, always saved. If grace is for the people who are truly chasing after God, really, are you covered when you're you're doing these sins? Right. Because when you're you're sinning, you ask for repentance. It means turn away and do no more. Yeah. Yes. Even when He saved that prostitute, when God saved that prostitute he said sin no more turn away and sin no more so if you truly are walking and operating the situation of saying i'm saved once i'm saved i'm always saved and you're still operating those old bad habits intentionally and you're operating in sin intentionally does that grace really cover you because grace is freely given to those who truly serve him and want him and are hungry after him that's what the grace is for unmerited favor Mm. man that's so powerful (laughs) that's a word seriously and then in in the book of revelation they they talk about removing god talks about removing your name and blotting your name out of the book of life Mm. so if that's the case if it's no such thing as you know that means you can live like any kind of way if you have the holy spirit the creator of the whole universe his spirit living inside of you what make you think you can just walk around and do anything it's a standard of holiness that you have to have because the bible says for for i for I am holy, be ye holy, you yes. know, be ye holy, yes. I'm holy. And just here in Ephesians 1, um, in verse um, 4, I believe it is, is it 4, baby? Oh, yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> For he chose us in him before the creation of the world to be holy and yes. blameless in his sight, in love. Yeah. You know, that's what he wants from us, you know, and in this love relationship, as we behold and whatever we look at, whatever we behold, we become like. Mm-hmm. And as we behold God, you know, we will become holy. We, be, we right. will become blameless yes. because we want to be more and more like him. Exactly. Yeah. And then, uh, so, you know, you know how in the Bible, how it says that we're going to rule and reign with God in heaven. Mm-hmm. So the righteous is bold as a lion, but the wicked flee when no one pursues, mm-hmm. you know, and then we're supposed to be the light. So how can you be the light if you compromise and, and you you carrying on like the world? Yeah. You got to be set apart. Yeah. You got to be yeah. set apart because when we where we go when we come, when we step in the atmosphere we bring order. Yeah. You know we, we bring order wherever we go. The atmosphere is supposed to shift when you really walking yeah. out yeah. in that true power of God and that true authority. Yeah. Yeah. But you can't do that with the whole once saved always saved. Yeah. Yes. There's no yes. power yes. in it. Yes. And it takes a decision. You know, yeah. the decision is you make up your mind. You cut off every other option when you say you know what i'm a child of god it might not be easy at times you know we all know that we all have our own stories you you wake up sometimes and you're like oh lord (laughs) you know i'm i'm not feeling it today but you just make up your mind you know what i am chosen i'm beloved you know i'm bold i'm going Mm. to do this thing today and then you just cut up every other option i'm not Mm -hmm. giving up today that's cut off yeah you know yeah and and just keep it moving forward man that's so true that is so true do you have anything else to say because if not any any last words (laughs) well i just want to encourage those of you who kind of have dibble dabbled you know Mm. not to dibble dabble no more make up your mind and just choose god and just dive in and get to know him and, and get to you know, fall in love with the Lord. You know, that's yeah. what's going to bring you through. It's your love relationship with God that will help mm-hmm. you and make you bold and, and, and help you to do, you know, walk that Christian life and get in the Word. You know, yeah. Get in the Word. And then, like, on top of that, it's whenever you really walk with God, you get this, this peace that surpasses all understanding. Yes. And I never knew, I never knew what that, like, meant. When that, until I started really following God, like anything that happened, you know, like anything happened, but you just don't like it's like you, you don't worry about it. Yeah. It's just a peace yeah. that happens no matter what the situation is, yes. you know, and that's it's just it's amazing to have. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. And especially in this rough time that we are in now, yeah. you know, with everything that's happening is we talked about that, you know, how we shut in and. We like, oh Lord, I want to get back to normal, but mm-hmm. it's never going to be normal, and that's what God is after our heart, the heart after this, you know, the heart yeah. of this nation. He's after the heart of this nation, and it just takes us to say yes, Lord, you know, yeah. and and 
let yeah, him do it. Definitely. So we can get into the new season with a new mindset, new attitude, new yes. habits, everything new. Everything yeah. new. And don't let your reset. your thoughts, your own thoughts, get in the way of your salvation. Because mm. for me personally, I so condemn myself that I made myself feel like God didn't want me anymore. Mm. And it's literally the the lie of the enemy, it's the trick of the enemy. If you keep on, I heard this in the right. spirit praying before we even made this video, that there's somebody watching this video that feels like I've done too much for God to want to use me. I've done so much that I'm literally disgusted of myself that I feel too far gone to even come back. But that's the deception and even the sense of thinking that uh, I feel ashamed of myself. I need to get right before I can come to God. No, come back now. Yeah. Because yes. God is hungry for your heart. He yes. wants you. He He still pursues you daily. It says in the word that he leaves the 99 for the one. And you are that one. He right. wants you. He really wants your heart. Yeah, and the thing is, this is, this is what the Bible says. The Bible says, whenever God forgives you, he removes your sin as far as the east is from the west. So... Let me, this is the east and this is the west and they're as far as it is it's never gonna it's never gonna meet so that means whenever he forgives you he forgets what you did now your soul is from out around you will remember it but god forgot it so whenever you bring it back up like hey god please forgive me god that's like what are you talking about yeah. when did you do that i don't i don't remember that yeah. and then a lot of times we hold ourselves guilty yeah. and we already forgiven yeah. Yeah. you know and i'm not saying like Ask for forgiveness just to keep repeating it. Obviously, whenever you, whenever you, you for uh, ask for forgiveness, like like you said, it means turn away. So you turn away from it, and you in your mind you make up your mind that you're not gonna do it no more. Yeah. And yeah, that like God, God doesn't remember it no more. So no matter what you've done in the past, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You can still be used by God because it was Saul. Saul was in the Bible. He was persecuting Christians. The very next day, he was walking with God, doing miracles. Yeah. So you don't have to walk Instantly. with God for a whole year just so so you can build up enough faith to do anything. Mm -hmm. God can use you, and yeah. once you like, once you repent, He can yeah. start using you tomorrow. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And one thing keeps coming to my spirit: don't compare God to the church or to people that you yes. know are Christians because we are all you know we all fall short, short of, of the, the glory, glory of God. God no matter how hard we try to yeah. be like God you know no matter how good you think a person is they will always fail you yeah. and sometimes we we compare with with the people in the church and then we get offended and we kind of leave God and God had nothing to do with that wow. you know God is always for us and with us and and wants us so so much so yeah. I encourage you if you have been hurt by church folks or you know people that say that are Christian I've disappointed you God has not disappointed you yeah. it was not God that disappointed you. it was people and they will always always disappoint us you know yeah. even within a loving family I mean, me and Abby have a beautiful relationship. I have a beautiful relationship with my other daughter and my husband as well. But we get into places, we disappoint each other, you know, but yeah. we love each other. But we have to look at God. So follow God and get to know Him, yeah. but not through people. Yeah. You know, through the Word of God and through prayer. Yeah. And He will reveal Himself to you. And He will continuously show Himself faithful yes. to you. Yeah. That's a word. That's a, <laughs> That's word. a word. uh uh, -uh. <laughs> Well, we're going to do the salvation prayer. We're going to start with two scriptures. The first one we're going to start with is Mark 16, 16. It says, He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. Okay? Can't just believe it. I mean, you can't just, just say it. You got to believe it. You know, it's activated when you believe it. Um, second one is Romans 10, 9, 10. If you confess with your mouth, the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead you will be saved for with the heart one believes unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation yes. all right so that kind of break it down broke it down for you churches are open back up try to try to see about getting baptized water baptism is very important and yeah you guys ready for the salvation prayer yes. yeah all right <laughs> Heavenly Father Heavenly Father, I confess right now. I confess right now with my mouth. With my mouth that you are Lord. That you are Lord. And I believe. And I believe 
in my heart, in my heart that you died that you died and rose again and rose again on the third day on the third day for the redemption of my sins for the redemption of my sins i accept you i accept you right now right now to be my Lord, to be my Lord and Savior, and Savior, and ask, and ask that you direct my life, that you direct my life in any way you see fit, in any way you see fit. Please forgive me, please forgive me for all sins, for all sins, rather knowingly, rather knowingly, unknowingly, unknowingly, or free willingly, or free willingly. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Welcome to the family. Stay connected with us. Um. Email us at spiritwalkers37 at gmail.com. You can connect with us on Instagram. There you go. <laughs> there you, go. <laughs> you can connect with us on Instagram. It is spiritwalkers37. Um, and we're starting many other platforms. We're probably going to get a Facebook page soon as well. But y'all just interact with us as much as possible. We know life can get very busy. We know that, you know, things are going on. But please connect with us if you need prayer reach out to us by our gmail it's going to be below um or even instagram if you want to direct message us we are always on the lookout we're always active on there we really just want to see where you guys' heart are and even if you have a question that you want answered in a video we are feeling free to do that as well but we love you guys so so much yeah and, and feel free to um share this video with anybody that that you know had conversations with you about like the once saved always saved share this video with them you know because it's all about us like as the body of christ we're our goal is to make it to heaven you know it's not shaming anybody it's to make it into heaven there's only one truth and that's the truth that we must follow you know so share this video like subscribe and we love y'all love you